Infinix has dropped a game-changing smartphone in the market. In fact, if you look at the specs of this thing on paper, right, this is one of the fastest gaming phone you can buy under 20,000 rupees. This is an all-new GT10 Pro just launched in the Indian market. And look at the whole new design as well. You're getting like a futuristic cyber mecha sort of design with customizable mini LED lighting at the backside. I'll show you all of these features in the video, guys. And not only that, we have a special gaming kit in the house today which features some exclusive gaming accessories for the Phone. so you people are gonna get like full information about this product in this video let's get started so guys our brand new gaming phone from infinix the gt10 pro came in this sort of box packaging phone is available in like two different colors we have the cyber black edition and that too this is the special gaming kit only first 5000 customers who place order for this phone will be getting it and in this package you have some special accessories included like you're getting a kevlar carbon fiber finished accessory box universal gaming triggers are included gaming finger sleeves are also there and also exclusive packaging i'm very excited to unbox and show it to you so let's quickly get started with the unboxing you have two boxes on the inside the first one must be for your phone and it's also one more accessory box let me just quickly take it out and show you in the package you get a very beautiful and high quality kevlar carbon fiber finished sort of accessory box where you can store your finger gloves gaming triggers that you get free in this package and you know stuff like that there's also one more tiny box over here which includes your finger gloves and these are the shoulder trigger buttons i was talking about very good quality guys i mean look at the whole finishing over here definitely gives you that gaming vibe and each of the shoulder triggers have two buttons integrated like l1 l2 r1 r2 you know similar sort of console like feel over here so they are universal you can use them on any phone so that's a good thing and talking about other accessories in the package you also get some paperwork plus a sticker pack is also there to customize your you know stuff and you're also getting a free tempered glass for the phone plus as usual a silicone case is also included looks quite flexible durable and good quality material I would say. So that's it. These are all the special accessories we got in the kit. Now keeping all of those aside, let's finally check out the gaming phone we've been waiting for. The all new GT10 Pro from Infinix. As I've told you, it's available in two different color variants, Cyber Black and Mirage Silver. And we have the Cyber Black Edition. On the silver edition, right, you have a color changing design at the back side uh, that is not available on this model though. And not to miss out, you're also getting like a mini LED lighting theme at the back, which I'll show you at a later part in the video. Lastly, in the package, you're getting a 45 watt fast charger and also a type C cable included for the adapter. So that's it. These are all the stuff we got in the kit. Now let me give you like a closer look at the phone and talk about the design and the build quality part. First of all guys, the GT10 Pro looks absolutely beautiful for this price segment. I mean nobody would believe that it costs under 20,000 rupees. Look at this whole cyberpunk kind of theme going on over here. They are actually calling it a cyber mecha theme and I love these orange accents at the backside. Looks very sporty and definitely gives you that gaming vibe. First of all, let me give you like a walk around and talk about all the stuff. On the front, you're getting a 6.67 inch 1080p 120Hz 10-bit AMOLED panel. And going to the top, you're getting a 32 megapixel front selfie camera. And what is this? Looks like the phone comes with like a pre-applied screen guard over here. And apart from that, you're also getting a tempered glass also included in the package. So full-on accessories are there. And look at the side profile as well. Very slim profile, I would say. It's around 8.1 mm thickness. And phone is also not that heavy, guys. It's only around like 186, 187 grams in the hand. At the top, you're getting a secondary noise cancelling mic and this one is your top firing speaker. To the left, you have your SIM card tray. It supports dual nano SIMs plus a micro SD. So yes, the storage on is expandable. And here's how the bottom profile looks like. Look at this. You're also getting a 3.5mm headphone jack, primary microphone, type C for charging. And this one is your down firing speaker. And here's how the back of the phone looks like. As I've told you, beautiful looking design, cyber black edition. And I kind of like this whole mecha sort of theme going on over here. And I believe this back panel is made of glass only because I mean look at the whole finishing definitely not polycarbonate material but I do have to mention it might attract fingerprints over usage so would prefer using the phone with a case anyways going to the top profile here you can check out a very big camera layout over here it's got like a triple camera setup and to the right side you're getting your special mini LED lighting system it's got like five to six LEDs integrated over here that automatically light up at different situations and it's also fully customizable you can apply like different lighting effects as as per the current theme and application you are running. Talking about the cameras, you're getting a triple camera setup. Primary one is a 108 megapixel f1.7, 2 megapixel macro, and the last one is a 2 megapixel for depth sensing, followed by a quad LED flashlight is also there. And the whole thing is powered by a 5000 milliampere battery that supports 45 watt fast charging. 
So that's it our complete overview and quick look at the specs of this phone. What I'll do is I'll quickly set up the phone, use it for some time and then be right back to continue and share my experience and feedback on this model. In the meantime, let me quickly tell you about the specs. You're getting a 6.67 inch 1080p resolution, 120Hz 10-bit AMOLED display with up to 360Hz touch sampling rate. And if you talk about the CPU, you're getting one of the fastest chipset in this price segment, guys, making it the world's fastest gaming phone under 20,000 rupees. You're getting MediaTek's Dimensity 8050, which is a 6 nanometer based octa-core chipset. And pair that with like 8 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM on board and is also expanded virtually up to 8 GB so totally you will get around like 16 gigs of RAM on this thing storage side is also like maxed out guys 256 GB UFS 3.1 super fast storage plus you're also getting a micro SD card slot support so yes it is expandable up to 1 TB and you do have some special gaming related features like you're getting a z-axis linear motor for those 4D vibration effects and powering all of these is a 5000 milliampere battery with 45 watt fast charging and even supports bypass charging for gamers. Well, well, I'm back to continue the video. It's been some time I've been using this phone and man, I have to say I really love the whole look and feel over here, guys. Phone feels quite comfortable in the hand. And since it has an AMOLED display, yes, you do have always on display support as well, which is also customizable. I've set up the fingerprint scanner on it. You're getting an in-display fingerprint scanner. So let's quickly put that to a test. Okay. Hey, you people saw that? Look at this. I like these live wallpaper animations also, looks very cool for a gaming phone. And as you can see, fingerprint reader was doing a very good job and unlocking pretty quickly and accurately guys most of the time. Anyways, there you go, here's how the display on the phone looks like and display looks very beautiful. I mean, look at these bezels over here. Bezels are very thin on the sides and on the bottom also. Let me just quickly open a white page and show you, you'll get a better idea on the bezels. Anyways, we'll come to the display and talk about that in a moment. First of all, let me just quickly talk about the OS. Infinix phones as usual come with their XOS operating system and skin. So up until now, most of their mobiles used to come with like bloatware and a couple of pre-installed unnecessary apps. So people were like, you know, quite irritated by that. And I've been giving feedback in my recent Infinix related videos and the brand is definitely listening to us guys. Look at this, on this particular model, they've made like a no ad operating system and comes with like very minimum pre-installed apps, almost like 40 percent fewer pre-installed apps compared to their last gen models. You're just having pure Google apps and some apps related to gaming from Infinix. That's it. Anyways, I really like this new skin Infinix went with their GT lineup of phones, specially designed for their gaming related lineup. Plus, you're also getting a couple of live wallpapers guys, specially designed for this phone. Anyways, let's quickly head over to the settings and check out the software related stuff. I've told you right, phone runs on Android version 13 and XOS 13 skin is there on board. And out of 256 GB, as you can see, around 26, 27 GB is occupied. So you're still left with around like 230 GB of free space guys, more than enough for a regular user. Plenty of games can be installed. All. Not to miss out, it's also expandable up to 1 TB. And this is your RAM memory fusion upgrade. So you can virtually expand the RAM up to 8 GB. So totally you can expect around like 16 gigs of RAM on this gaming phone. So those are all the software related stuff. And what I'll do is I'll quickly open up YouTube, play some videos over here, just have a look at them. And then we'll talk about the display quality and the sound quality part. As I've told you, Infinix GT10 Pro features a 6.67 inch 1080p resolution, 120Hz 10-bit AMOLED display. And initially, I was a bit skeptical because see, the brand is giving you like a really decent performing CPU at such an affordable price, right? So I thought they might cut corners here and there, but nothing like that. It's a beautiful AMOLED panel. There's great amount of detail no matter what sort of content you're watching, either it be YouTube videos or maybe like web series, movies on Netflix, Amazon Prime. And good thing is it does support wide wine l1 plus also colors are also pretty good color accuracy color reproduction everything were on point thanks to that 10 bit amoled panel and you are getting like near to infinite contrast ratios deep black levels thanks to that amoled panel viewing angles are also great and coming to the brightness brightness of the panel is also like pretty good it can go up to like 850 900 nits of max brightness and i had no issues checking out the display even in like bright outdoor situations overall very satisfactory display and not to miss out the sound part also this phone 
own features stereo speakers powered by DTS and sound quality is pretty good. In fact, the special gaming kit features an audio sound box guys, which you can convert from the entire packaging. And here's how it looks like. You simply need to place your phone over here and now you'll get like a much more enhanced audio quality feel, especially with that stereo separation and gives you like a nice Bluetooth speaker kind of warm feel. Overall audio quality was nice. Vocals had this nice warm and mellow tone to them. Treble quality was also decent without much harshness and decent amount of bass also. Only thing I felt is, despite having stereo speakers, I felt the audio output was a bit lower. You know, wish it had a little bit more sound complete experience on this model. So the brand's main objective of this series was to offer like high performance at an affordable price tag for all the people out there. So I'm like quite curious guys, it offers like really good specs. You're getting Okay, I know you people have been waiting for this part. How is the overall performance of this phone? Now I've told you, right, it comes with one of the best chipsets you can get for this price segment, guys. One of the fastest chipset under 20,000, which is MediaTek's Dimensity 8050. It's a 6 nanometer based octa-core chipset. And let me tell you, phone runs very smoothly, guys. Either it be like your day-to-day -day task, opening and closing of applications, and pair that with 120 hertz display, muska performance is what I can say, especially for this price point. App openings, closings, transitions, everything were like super smooth. I didn't face any sorts of lags during my testing period. I also ran a couple of benchmarks as well like Geekbench and Antutu. On Antutu, we were getting around like 6.5 to 6.6 .6 lakh score. And here's your Geekbench result. Just have a look at these benchmarks, you'll get an idea on the performance. And coming to gaming, Yes, you can do some great gaming over here. Now, obviously, it's a gaming phone. Nothing less to expect for this price point. You can easily play most of the graphic intensive games like Asphalt 9, PUBG, BGMI also, guys. That too, with like HDR graphics set and ultra frame rate. I was getting like consistent 60 FPS. Now, this is not like a dedicated gaming review because this is just like an unboxing and initial impressions, right? I'll keep that for a separate video. But still, I did play that game. Just have a look at that. I'll give you like a sneak peek at this part. So, you'll get an idea on the performance and not only that since it's a gaming phone right you're also getting some special gaming related features you can actually pull out a special game bar by swiping right from the left edge of the phone and there you go here's how it looks like you can customize lots of things over here and you know check out real time frame rate cpu gpu temperature utilization and all of that infinix has definitely done lots of software improvements also this time so let me know if you people are actually interested in a dedicated gaming review and what sort of games do i need to test on it and i'll definitely do that in a part 2. We're almost coming to an end, right? But before that, let me quickly show you the camera app as well. I have told you, right, people, you're getting like a triple rear camera setup. Primary one is a 108 megapixel camera with f1.7 and can shoot 4K 30 FPS. Secondary one is a 2 megapixel macro camera and third one is a depth camera, guys, 2 megapixel. And I did shoot a couple of pictures. Just have a look at them. I'll show you some samples. Now, this also I'll try to cover in the gaming review only. I need to shoot some more samples, you know. I want to experience like how this thing is over a longer period of time then I'll share my review and feedback on the camera quality as well. Stay tuned for that. So I'll be using this phone for a couple of days before making my full review video. In that, we'll definitely go in depth and talk about the gaming performance. We'll do a variety of benchmarks and see how this MediaTek chipset compares with Snapdragon. Just for your reference sake, right? It's even faster than Snapdragon 782G, which is actually found on the OnePlus Nord C3, which was just launched like two or three days ago, guys, and cost like much more expensive than this phone. So I want to put like a comparison video between both of these phones and you know some other models available in the market. It's going to be a very interesting stuff guys so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Apart from that I'll definitely talk about the camera quality as well and we'll also cover the battery life that is also an important segment right. If you people have any other questions apart from them let me know in the comment section and I'll do that. If you all enjoyed watching this video make sure to smash that like button and talking about the price I haven't told you right. So the actual cost of this phone is around 19999 but the brand is giving you a special 2k discount with exclusive bank offers all details for that are available in the description box below you can check it out there well that's it for today and i'll see you all in my next one